vice presidential debate. We are looking at a shot of the campus of the University of Utah. This is the building where Kamala Harris and Mike Pence will be squaring off tonight. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Tom Zalaski. And I'm Michelle McCormack. And we start off tonight with news from your local election headquarters. The stage now set for the one and only vice presidential debate between Mike Pence and Kamala Harris in Salt Lake City. Local 5's Chris Schuler spoke with a political expert to learn if this debate will be filled with arguing or substance. Last week's presidential debate between Donald Trump and Joe Biden left many voters here at UW Green Bay with a bad taste in their mouths for politics. It seemed just like two people who were just having an argument that they didn't care what the question was. It was just like two people just like yelling over each other, like trying to get their word in. I think enrollment is up. Political expert Dave Helpap expects the VP debate to be a much different affair. I think this debate is going to be actually probably more important than than. Vice presidential debates in the past. Hellpap is an associate professor of political science at the university. He says Mike Pence and Kamala Harris will do what their yeah, running mates didn't this last this week. Smart, Try to outline their policy positions in a, a little bit more uh, coherent and, and structured manner. Hellpap also says with the president's COVID-19 diagnosis, this debate takes on an extra significance. There's no guarantee that there's going to be uh, another presidential debate, so this might be uh, sort of a stand in for that. And Halpap says given the age of the presidential candidates, Pence and Harris need to show that if called upon, they can lead. I think people are, are really interested, or perhaps interested, in what these individuals represent, how they can handle themselves on a debate stage, how they can present their policy positions. How they will deal with racial unrest, the fight for the Supreme Court, and of course the COVID outbreak. Since both of them have long political careers, they know how to keep things more professional. I hope that they can keep themselves composed and like inform the people instead of just yelling at each other. But that Hellpap believes won't be an issue as the VP candidates reassure their supporters they've made the right choice. In Green Bay, Chris Schuler, Local 5 News.